Hey everybody, Ace Tyler here. Welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts. In the last episode, we gathered some materials and stuff for uh, for the raft, which I don't know why we're building the raft right now when we have two boats. We can use them very easily, so it's a waste of our time right now. In this episode, there's going to be some more to do in Destiny Islands, but first let's go and talk to those uh, Final Fantasy characters once again. Hey Sora, have you heard about the legendary power of the Palpu fruit? They say if you share it with someone you really care for, it binds you together forever and ever, through eternity. <sighs> it's so romantic. I gotta try it sometime. Gee, thanks for reminding me of my miserable love life right now. Oh, this, this time I just want to try, but I can never do so because I got nobody. Damn it, no! Me and Titus, we are gonna do a little exploring today. You know, to the secret place at the base of that tree. There's gotta be something there, yeah? Huh, maybe. Seems uh, rather uh, mysterious. I mean, we can probably just uh, go in there and uh, find some kind of uh, unknown territory there could be. And let's go and talk to uh, Titus once more. See what he's doing. I think you've gotten stronger, but odds are you're still no match for Riku. We took him on three to one last time, and he whipped us all. Well, I guess Kairi can always count on him. You know, I guess you're not wrong, though, because uh, it seems that Riku is actually uh, better than me now. And, of course, the fact that uh, you guys uh, keep on kicking my ass, though, and so um, I actually call it quits because I am that much of a wimp. Alright, so uh, let's go over to, uh, to the cove, uh, the uh, other area in, uh, in the islands that we haven't gotten to just yet. Uh, first, what we're going to do, uh, there's, uh, there's Riku right there, so uh, let's go and talk to him. And uh, apparently he wants us to uh, name the raft. Now, um, this is kind of a bit of a wager here. He wants to name it High Wind, and the fall one's in Excalibur. And this is going to be rather pointless considering uh, what's going to happen, though. You can actually uh, name your raft any time, though. I'm just going to call him, uh, I'm going to call him George, actually, because, ladies and gentlemen, I am very shit at, uh, at thinking up of a good name for a boat like this, or our own kind of, uh, or our kind of raft. So, uh, and, and not to mention, it gets rather pointless anyway, because, uh, because, like, uh, uh, we, we never get to keep a name, actually, because of what happens afterwards. Because, one thing, we had to race Riku. Yes, we are going to race for uh, for the name of the raft. And you'll definitely see what happens as a result. If I win, uh, I'm captain. And if you win... I get to share the Palpu with Kairi. Huh? Deal? The winner gets to share a Palpu with Kairi. Oh, um, wait a minute. Okay, on my count. Yes, you heard it, folks. Uh, this whole, uh, th th this, these whole shenanigans that uh, Sora Riku do—it's basically, it's basically nothing more than a cockfight for uh, for Kyrie. That's what it is. All right, so we have uh, we have this race against uh, Riku here. Now uh, you're going to want to take shortcuts for this if you want to win this one. Uh, what we can do is that you can just climb the ladder up on this um, up on this tower here, and there is a uh, there's a pulley there that you can actually uh, grab onto, and then that way there you can actually bypass him. Here's the thing, though. Um, I even though I. Take, advantage, take that to my advantage. Um, yeah, look at this right here. Now, there is platforming involved in, uh, in this game. Like, you know, very rarely enough for this game is that, you know, there's there's a lot of platforming out of all the other games. But here's the thing, though. Um, Sora is not very good for platforming because, because uh, like, you, there, there, there'd be times where you, you could have sworn you're on that, uh, you're on that, uh, you're on the platform itself, only for uh, Sora to just immediately fall off of there and just uh, not, like, uh, register it as, uh, as, as a solid object. So because of that, I... I completely screw myself over unintentionally because, uh, well, you know, because of the game's uh, poor platforming coding is what it is. I, I don't know. It must be the coding. Because of that, Riku beat me. And so, yeah, now he's named the Raft High Wind. And, yeah, so much uh, for sharing the Palpy with Kyrie. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm there. I'm there with you, Sora. I have a miserable love life as well. All right, so now we actually beat him. And, of course, the main reason why I want to try this again is because, um, well, just to get a pretty so or pretty so right here. It's one of those uh, materials that we can uh, get for later in this game. But uh, more on that a little, a little later on, because uh, right now it's just going to be uh, useless to us, because there's no access to it. Well, just just right now. But yeah, that, that, that's basically all you do. That you'll just uh, if you win the race against Riku, then you'll get to uh, keep the name that you uh, put in for the raft. Uh, if you lose, then it'll just uh, be called High Wind instead. And so that's why it turned out to be pointless. It was all for nothing when I'm trying to find the um, or when I'm, when I'm trying to get the um, or just use a name there. Then again, though, I suck at names for. Uh, for rests like these, so, uh, so yeah, it's just kind of a, it's, it, it was, it was just done on a whim, is what it is. 
But yeah, that was kind of the reason why I lost, is because, uh, you know, because of the game's uh, poor uh, platforming there. So, like, like, I mean, I mean, then again, though, Sora could still platform, but, you know, it's just that, it, it's just that it wasn't very much a like, uh, like a platform, or he's not really made for platforming is what it is, so, um, so that's kind of the reason why it tends to get a little poor like that, even though you, you could have sworn you just like, got, got there. And so, yeah, every command should be me, and so I want to try the, try this game for the pretty stone. And because of that, though, um, I did several recording attempts because I really wanted to make sure to actually win the race against Riku, but no matter what I do, I always keep losing to him, like, constantly. And it's getting to the point where I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll just, I'll, I'll just take it as it is. I just wanted the pretty stone anyway for, uh, well, for, for later on, at least. So, because, you know, I've, at, at this point, it's like, you know, it's become such a drag right now. And just having to constantly do these uh, recording attempts, and it's 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 really it was really a wearing thing for me. And so I was like, fine, I'll just I'll, I'll just take it like it is. I'll just I'll just take the loss. But you know, just came uh, with the score anyway. And so, all right. So now what uh, what Kyrie wants to do or wants us to do now is that uh, she wants us to gather the uh, the food for uh, that we'll be needing, which is uh, well, I mean, it's not very much. That uh, will we'll be getting. I mean, um, it's just just very little stuff. But we we don't have any cooking utensils for that. So like, what are we gonna do there? Are we, are we gonna are we gonna eat raw fish or something like that? That's, that's gross. Raw fish is gross. I mean that, that's what I think. Cause honestly, I, I I'm not really not really much of a seafood eater. Honestly, I mean I'm, I I don't I'm not real I'm not that real fond of seafood guys. Honestly, I mean there are some exceptions though. But I'm just uh I just don't really like seafood that much. But yeah, that's basically what we what we need is just say you know some uh, nutrients uh, for. Um, for this, uh, for this trip here, so that's what we need to do. Oh yeah, and um, I never got to go over a lot of stuff here, like it's like for the characters. Um, oh yeah, what I also picked up there was the uh, protect chain. That was uh, it's, it's especially good for uh, for defense, so you can just uh, go into the items menu and just uh, equip yourself. So, anyways, um, so yeah, I never really got to go over the uh, the characters here very much. So, uh, like especially with the characters and their uh, their voice actors. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, start there. So. So here we have uh, Sora, and Sora is voiced by the I See Dead People kid, Haley Joel Osment, and he's been voicing the guy for pretty much every single game there is, even um, even after uh, Haley Joel Osment has gotten older. But this is actually where, like, you know, before he himself has uh, reached uh, puberty, so yeah, going by the first game, uh, it's going to be, uh, it's, it's actually uh, kind of like jarring to hear, um, to hear uh, Sora at such a, such a young age, especially if you're used to later games where... Um, where uh, he sounds older, but yeah, this is like the only game where uh, where Sora very much sounds like a young kid. But that was like that's before Haley Joel Osment has reached uh, puberty. And, uh, and then we have uh, Riku, who's voiced by David Gallagher. And then last but not least, we have uh, Kyrie, who's voiced by uh, Hayden Panettiere. And ugh, I miss Hayden Panettiere as Kyrie. I mean, uh, not not that Allison Stoner did a, did a terrible job of this. I mean, she's, she she can still still do a good Kyrie, but. It's just, um, I just found Hayden Panettiere Pan Pan to do, like, more naturally as, uh, as Kyrie Kyri herself. I'm, yeah, I'm speaking too fast. I'm kind of, like, you know, just starting here. So that's why it's, like, it's, it's why it kind of feels like I'm just uh, saying some weird pronunciations. Oh, yeah, we go in this cave here, and uh, we see some, um, some cameos here with all the uh, cave paintings. Is that, a, is, that, is that a Chocobo? Is that Donald? That was, that was, that was like, before, uh, before we meet um, Donald and Goofy. Oh my god, uh, folks, look at this. It's it's the Great Mighty Pooh from Cocker's Bad Fur Day. <laughs> like you said, I'm talking about this game here. And, uh, yeah, more of this stuff. Uh, that kind of looks like the, uh, the Gesture Cat from, uh, Alice in Wonderland. But yeah, a bunch of, uh, neat stuff. You can look around for, um, for all these, uh, cameos or the k paintings here. And there's, uh, what is that mysterious door right here? It's rather, uh, odd for a door to be here. Where, where does it lead to? What is this mysterious door? Is it or could, unless it could be a closet? But we gotta pick up this mushroom here, so that's what we're here for anyway. to see the door to this world. Huh? 
this world has been connected. Well, what are you talking about? Tied to the darkness. Soon to be completely eclipsed. Well, whoever you are, stop freaking me out like this. Huh? Well, where did you come from? You do not yet know what lies beyond the door. So you're from another world. There is so very much to learn. You understand so little. Oh yeah? Well you'll see. I'm gonna get out and learn what's out there. A meaningless effort. One who knows nothing can understand nothing. God damn, that was rather uh, foreboding, wouldn't you say? Uh, yeah, we can just see there. Nothing really. Wonder, how did he get here? Yeah, who, who was that guy? What, who's, what's this ominous man doing there with all the robes? As a mysterious aura? Like, who, who is he? And why does, why does he have a, such a sweet, soothing voice of Billy Zane? But we'll find more about that uh, as we, uh, as we you know, more, know more about him. That's going to be, like, much, 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 much later on for this one. But yes, uh, so that's uh, pretty much uh, all the um, all, I, all I can say about like you know as far as the um, as far as the characters and the uh, voice um, or the uh, the voice actors go. And yeah, uh, ladies and gentlemen, like you know these uh, th these voice actors like they're they're actually very famous voice actors uh, voicing the uh, characters in Kingdom Hearts. Like you know most of the uh, most of the original characters they get voiced by you know very well known famous well actually not just voice actors but like actors themselves. They're they're, they're also actors who's appeared in many movies and are very well known for that so yeah they uh, they actually cast those people to voice those characters and actually really amazing as well so um see so yeah, that's all there is and i guess uh, before we uh before we go i can just go ahead and talk about like uh, you know how the concept can be so yeah kingdom hearts was actually made when a uh, what was the the, the the idea came up when uh, they went to rival popular games such as uh, super mario 64 and so, uh, well, from uh, from Square Enix that they uh, that they wanted to uh, think think of, it. so they want they want something popular to rival that, and that's where they uh, they were directed towards uh, towards Disney, and so um, so by uh, so somehow uh, there was a uh, the executives from Square Enix and Disney's respectively, and by pure chance or by pure coincidence they walk into an elevator, and then they go like, hey, have I got just the idea for you? That's literally what happened, folks. They, they they literally just walk into an elevator and then just come with the idea. And um, the uh, the director uh, for, to uh, Lee Kingdom Hearts was uh, Tetsuya Nomura, who's very well known for his artwork. You know, he he does such a great job in the artwork industry. As far as story goes, uh, we'll talk more about that. But first things first, we have a cutscene. You know, Riku has changed. What do you mean? Well... Hmm... You okay? Sora! Let's take the raft and go! Just the two of us! Huh? <laughs> Just kidding! What's gotten into you? You're the one that's changed, Kairi. Maybe. You know, I was a little afraid at first. Now I'm ready. No matter where I go or what I see, I know I can always come back here. Right? Yeah, of course. That's good. Sora, don't ever change. Huh? I just can't wait. Once we set sail, it'll be great. I really do like the background here, especially by uh, PlayStation 2 standards. Now, the next one, I'm actually going to be reading this over in a Mickey Mouse voice because it's Mickey speaking, so get ready to hear my mediocre Mickey voice. Dear Donald, huh? Sorry to rush out without saying goodbye, but there's big trouble brewing. Not sure why, but the stars have been plagued out one by one, and that means disaster can't be far behind. I hate to leave you all, but I gotta go check into it. Huh? 
someone with a key. The key to our survival. So I need you and Goofy to find him and stick with him. Got it? We need a key or we're doomed. So go to Traverse Town and find Leon. He'll point you in the right direction. Or else I'm gonna dog your pay, you bitch! P.S. Would you apologize to Minnie for me? Thanks, pal. Oh! Oh dear! What could this mean? It means we'll just have to trust the king. Gorge, I sure hope he's all right. Gorgeous, don't worry. We'll find the king and the king. Thank you, both of you. Can you get down Of course. You be careful now, both of you. Oh, and to chronicle your travels, he will accompany you. Over here! Cricket's the name. Jiminy Cricket at your service. We hope for your safe return. Please, help the king. Gorge, Jiminy, your world disappeared too. It was terrible. We were scattered. And as far as I can see, I'm the only one who made it to this castle. Don't you? Oh, right. I got you. You mean while we're in other worlds, we can't let on where we're from, huh? We gotta protect the world border. Order. Right. World border. <laughs> oh, I guess we'll need new duds when we get there, huh? I will grab your level! 